tensions are high. Tensions are high. Shiki versus Justice. Let's hope he don't die. Welcome everyone and greetings from the great beyond. Salaviathan here, back on Earth to bring you some more Eden's Zero. We're on Season 2, Episode 20, guys. And last episode definitely got the plot moving forward. It sure did. The Brittany versus uh, Rebecca fight here ended up fairly quickly with Rebecca kind of taking her out. But learning a lot more about her time travel powers. We ended up uh, entering the, uh, the satellite over here here where um, Wise and Hermit kind of came to take down the virus but it looked as though Dr. Mueller was still alive and Hermit is definitely traumatized but it looked as though the uh, Interstellar Union army here is kind of uh, clashing with the Eden Zero crew and now we got a battle starting with Justice and Shiki so I'm excited I'm excited guys to get jumping right into this one don't forget to like share and subscribe guys turn on notifications down below so you don't want to upload next and consider checking out the patreon you know we got other things that aren't on youtube over there like patreon exclusives and you know some uh, uncut reactions so definitely appreciate the support there but with that note i will get started with eden zero season two episode 20 kiss and die let's go Yes, let's get ready for this one. Oh, I don't know though. I don't know. Something tells me that Shiki is gonna be heavily outmatched here. Yeah, and this guy's a part of the counter force to the Arashian Seas. So you definitely know he's up to their level. He's basically saying it's an illegal ship, and like it's only been run by illegals. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, Justice has a good reason to worry about Shiki. その心配はいらない。お前はここで死ぬ。これから先の未来は存在しない。政府ってのは随分凶暴だな。我々政権連盟軍オラシオン戦士だけは特権が適用される。Bro, he's gotta eliminate Shiki before he becomes a problem. And you know what, man? The Interstellar Union Army gives him that authority to just murk people on sight. No hesitation. <laughs> By the way, I wonder what his ether gear powers are. They seem to be light based. Oh, our boy is getting murked right now. No contest, no contest is the name of justice. Didn't stand a chance. <laughs> this is what I was questioning before the fact that pe the two people can hold the same ether gear, but I guess they can. Really, Justice? The man was on the ground, already done, and you literally just like finished a job that was already finished. He knew the original wise? Interesting. God, but this paralysis lightning is horrible. The man can't even move. God, this guy would be light work if you could just take him down. Ah, oh, I want him on screen so quickly. 
くやつは本物のワイズシュタイナーの若かりしコロ<笑>あの天才科学者の脳が目の前に<笑>あれを食らってまだ生きていると今すぐ楽にしてやる悪をうがつ光の槍アンタレス All right, all right. This is switching around into an Elsie versus Justice battle. But I have a question though. If he has that little、uh, symbol on his eye when he uses his ether gear, does that mean that Elsie's covered eye has like the same similar type of insignia? Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. You can see it on the bottom part. Oh man. I feel like this battle here has a lot of weight and emotion to it. What is their history? What is their backstory? エルシーのとこのナンバーツーとナンバースリーかエーテルロックアイスボールおおアイスイーサーフレイムトリトンズオーライ looks like we got a nice little、uh, fire and ice team between these two 姫を信じているからこそ僕たちは前へ進んでいるジェームズ・ホロウェイ。What a basic ass name! <laughs> oh, Fatherland. You know, I remember them mentioning that she was an actual princess. But now you're trying to tell me that these two were from the same nation? Treachery? Uh oh. What the hell does she do? The Kaede Cosmos. This guy clearly loves Elsie and she clearly loves him, but it looks as though there's like, a, there's like something that she did that made him, that's clouding his love for her, and it's just coming in the form of hatred. Nah, man, nah. If you don't have the power to change anything, you don't have the power to invoke justice. See what I mean? Love. Definitely plaguing both of them. Bro, it's even more than I thought. These two were arranged to be married. Who knew that in like 20 da years down the line they would be trying to fight to kill each other? Oh man, the twist of fate, the twist of fate. It's quite amazing sometimes. <laughs> yeah, are you serious right now? What? Nah, I knew it. What the hell is wrong with these two psychopaths? Yo, they're like two sides of the same coin. Bro, I think I'm understanding, I'm understanding this dynamic really, really well. Bruh, bruh, bruh! You know, I think that might be that master Xenolith guy that Hermit was talking about, right? The, the gravity arts master? Okay. 
この脳がやがて天才となる脳なのか実に興味深い Can they please just destroy this bucket of bolts already? Herman doesn't deserve all this emotional trauma right now God. And then why is being paralyzed? This is not a good situation Real friends will get you out of this mess. We'll get you away from this trauma. We'll help you heal. But you can't heal until we destroy this piece of shit. Until we do. Oh no, I knew that sound didn't sound very good. Just an utter massacre. Part of me th felt good because we thought we were going to save these people. But look at them. There's no hope of saving this. You know it's really strange? He, he has the same voice actor as Ziggy though. Same same, but different. But still same. Young girl from the future? Whoa. I know they said that Rebecca's parents were like, what, like dead or something, or they didn't really know where she came from. But you're trying to tell me she comes from the future? Oh man, I think Eden Zero just dropped a little hidden gem right there. I really like the two sides of the same coin thing with these two. Oh yes, oh yes, I knew it man, I knew this was Master Xenolith, that was his specific style. He was able to put gravity all over the planet, even outside of its atmosphere? Who is this man? <laughs> Intriguing, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I really can't wait to see what he teaches us. Very, very jam-packed and intriguing episode, especially when it comes to the overall lore of the whole show. You know, with um, Jason versus Shiki, I knew Shiki wasn't going to be able to match him, but then I, I didn't expect it to be an Elsie versus Justice battle right here. I did not expect the amount of emotion that was in that battle. This man hates her. Like, she did something so horrible that makes him hate her to death, but at one point in time, he actually held so much love for her. And, and, and the same to her with her as well and I really liked seeing the fact that they were two sides of the same coin and uh, the type of struggles that they go through with Elsie as a as a character it looked as though that that uh, she realized a long time ago that 
like there isn't really a world with two justice you know you, justice is how we we kind of create our own justice right i can't wait to get more into those specific two and see their backstory because i guarantee it's definitely going to be a very very heart tugging one I, I just know it and then when meeting master xenolith he looks powerful as hell and i can't wait to see what kind of stuff he kind of uh like relates to shiki here so i'm excited to get into the next episode man the next uh, it looks to be like things are starting to pick up for this arc and it's getting into the uh, good old climax so cannot wait to get more into this but for this video i will see you guys around take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day Bye bye